So uh, now let's talk about a concept called yaw. Um, more often people call it rotation. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a concept which is very important but is rarely talked about. And in, I would say, uh, motoring magazines, uh, car magazines, and also on um, uh, internet videos on cars, the journalists talk about it a lot without calling it yaw. Mm -hmm. Um, and what do they say? So, many, many words are spent on describing how a car feels mm -hmm. to drive. And um, so, they would describe it as, well, a car is easy to rotate or it's uh, very responsive, these types of words. But quite often what they're actually describing is how easily it is for this vehicle to rotate mm -hmm. in, in, in what's called yaw. Um, uh, and it's, it's something that nobody ever measures. Uh, is it even possible to measure it? it? Theoretically, it is definitely possible to measure it. It's just that uh, I've never seen any magazine or any, anyone, um, maybe at car manufacturers, they might measure it um, to, to quantify how, how good the performance is in rotation, but I've, uh, I, I've rarely seen anyone discussing this topic. Okay, so let me interrupt my wife and myself here for a moment because I must say, although I myself uh, am not aware of uh, car manufacturers using your acceleration as a metric for um, vehicle handling performance, uh, it doesn't mean that it doesn't get used. It might be, it might be used somewhere. Uh, it's simply that I'm not personally aware of it. Um, plus, it's really important to say that nearly all vehicles produced nowadays will come with a yaw rate sensor. And the reason for that is because nearly all cars are mandated to have a safety system on board uh, called ESP or Electronic Stability Program, which is there to help prevent accidents from happening. So, uh, and the ESP, uh, software it needs a measured yaw rate to do its job and the way that happens is that the um, the electronic stability program it calculates based on the driver's steering wheel angle uh, as well as the vehicle driving speed and what the esp system knows about the vehicle behavior uh, it, it'll it'll know well i i'm expecting this kind of this amount of rotation based on how far the the driver has rotated the steering wheel and uh, it then compares the calculated expected yaw rate with the measured yaw rate and so when it sees a deviation between the two then the es then the esp will um will intervene so it will intervene at least when when a certain certain threshold is uh, is exceeded um, between the measured and the calculated uh, yaw rate so that, for example, if there is significant understeer, then the electronic stability program will break the inside rear wheel to reduce the amount of understeer. And if it notices oversteer, uh, then it will definitely intervene by breaking the outside front wheel uh, to reduce the oversteer. So um, all of this together uh, is there to help the driver from having an accident. So although your acceleration may or may not be used as a handling metric, um, the your rate is definitely something which is very important to uh, the vehicle's onboard safety systems and other control systems. Okay, let's get back to rotation and handling. But it's, um, it's one of those intangibles that um, people will talk about a lot in, in describing how a car handles. So w when we describe, when we um, talked about handling mm -hmm. yesterday, so I mentioned that understeer and oversteer is part of it, mm -hmm. as well as the lateral uh, acceleration capability mm -hmm. uh, but this is then the final I would say the final missing piece mm -hmm. which is 
um, quite often invisible to people because people would like to typically talk about the lateral acceleration the car is able to to generate how much it's understeering or oversteering but very rarely do people actually try to measure this rotation capability so if we go into it so why is it important because the um, the responsiveness of the of the car in in responding to the driver's commands to rotate to, right. to turn it is key in initiating the corner so mm -hmm. going into the corner you, you to initiate this um, uh, like how fast you can start cornering yeah because if the car is unwilling to rotate then it will feel to the driver like the car is understeering okay so this is not um, but this is not in the middle of the corner where the car is in a in a steady state mm -hmm. it's in while the car is still very much in a dynamic mm -hmm. state uh, coming off the brakes and then turning into the corner so at this point um, it's not purely just uh, the, the the grip from the tires it's also how how the mass is distributed mm -hmm. in the in the in the car mm -hmm. and also how uh, how far mm -hmm. uh, how long the the wheelbase is mm -hmm. for example um, so the the reason that this yaw this rotation is important is you, you want to go into the corner fast mm -hmm. you want to come out of it fast mm -hmm. so you want to start this rotation quick and you mm -hmm. want to stop it quick right uh, because the, the the faster you can start this rotation the faster you can go in and the faster you can stop it then the the harder you can get back on the power at the exit yeah in a more controllable way indeed mm -hmm. yeah uh, because if if you don't um, if you're not able to do that, then the um, the car might have what's called a tank slapper, where mm -hmm. it's wiggling, uh, and and then to in order to correct for that, you're wasting time. And also to make any small course corrections, if the car is very responsive, mm -hmm. then it is um, uh, it's it's much easier to make these corrections. So then the car feels very agile, very responsive to the driver. Right. So. The speed through an entire corner is almost um, completely uh, determined at the corner entry. Mm -hmm. And so this is where the lateral acceleration is still very low, mm -hmm. but then this rotation is very high. So, or this, mm -hmm. the, uh, the acceleration in this rotation is very high. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you have a bad corner entry, then it's most likely that your entire corner is bad. Yeah, so yeah. if you go into a corner slow, yeah. Then you're just wasting a lot of time through the entire, the entire corner. corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as mentioned, um, this this rotation, this yaw right has to be taken out. Uh, Hi there. The clip that you just watched is from a course called Fundamental Theory. It's one of the courses that I created for RacetrackSetup.com to help sim racers and anyone else interested in motorsport master racetrack setup as quickly as possible. If you're quick enough, this particular course might still be open for enrollment for free. If you enjoyed the video, then as the cheesy saying goes, like, subscribe, and share.